And finally, our question 11, so last question of the day, is asking us, a space probe identifies a new element in a sample cl uh, collected from an asteroid. Successive ionization energies in attojoules per atom for the new element are given in a table. To what family of the periodic table does this new element probably, probably belong here? And we have some optional answers as well. So uh, we look at this table here. So the first ionization is 0 0.5, and then it's increased, right? 0 0.5, and then it's 1, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So when we, took, when we look at ionization energy, so again, what is ionization energy? Uh, like a review from my last stream here, ionization energy is the amount of energy that is being put into the element for me to remove an electron. So for example, in this case, this is, uh, let me let me say this is uh, element X here. So I'm going to name this element X. Element X. So element X here, I'm going to add some sort of ionization energy, and I'm going to get X plus plus my electron here. I'm going to get rid of my electron by uh, ionizing it. So I'm putting some type of energy and I'm going to ionize this electron here or this element here. So my first, as you can see, my first ionization energy is very, very, very small. And then it increases as it goes, right? So if I'm looking at the periodic table here, and if I know my trends here, my trends here for ionization energy. So for trends of IE, let me write that down. Trends of ionization energy. So as I go from left to right, on my periodic table here. As I go from left to right, my valence electrons are increased, right? So if it's increasing, therefore it's going to, uh, it's going to be much harder for me to, um, to basically put energy in to, um, to get rid of an electron, right? Because if you think of a, if you think of fluorine, for example, I don't want to get rid of an electron, right? Fluorine is going to, it's going to take me a long time for me to get rid of an electron on fluorine here because I want to actually accept an electron. I don't want to take a give away an electron. So from left to right here, it's going to increase, increase because it takes me more energy for me to remove an electron. So increases from left to right. And then from up to down here, um, from up to down here, up to down here, it's going to decrease as I, uh, ionization energy is going to decrease. In this case, I only care about um, the family of the group, right? So in this case, I really don't care about this trend. I care about the left to right trend. And as you can see, this here is increasing one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And again, these are the answers you can have here. So which group would it belong? Would it belong to one, two, uh, 13, 14, 15, 16, or uh, 17 or 18 here. So uh, if it's going to, again, I have seven uh, ionization energies here and the seven being the, like, the most here, it's going to basically increase. It, this element is probably going to be in the uh, in the one or two section here. And just because, again, the first energy, ionization, ionization energy, for example, if it was lithium here, it would take me very little to add an electron obviously. So again, this here would be uh, ionization one, energy one, and then two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Um, assuming that seven is the most here, um, the again, uh, the group with the highest ionization energy here would be a noble gas, right? The noble gases here are already stable. You don't want it to, you don't want to add, elect uh, add energy to it to remove an electron, right? So therefore, it's either one or two. And in this case, because I7 here, I'm not given I8 here, or the eighth ionization energy here, those would probably belong into group two, right? Whereas this here is the first ionization energy, the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, and then the seventh ionization energy landing onto the normal gases here. So as you can see here, 2A is correct, right? It belongs into the second column here. So there's writing here from the given data, we can see that the, there's a sudden uh, change from ionization energy from two to three, indicates that two valence electrons as removed to, uh, as to remove the third electron typically, it goes higher as the element consists of two valence electrons, so it should belong to 2A here. So 2A here is correct answer, just like I said before probably belongs to 2A because the seventh valence uh, ionization energy is the most and it should be uh, and it should um, uh, be the most as it refers to the noble gases in group 18 here. So solution here is correct. Great analysis as well. 
So that's my 11th question for today. So thank you so much for watching the stream. Again, my name is Joey. I stream basically from Monday to Friday. I stream math from Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and uh, chemistry on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So you can uh, kind of tune, tune in and uh, watch me stream and kind of go through these problems as well. Uh, if, again, you can find all of these pre-recorded videos. They're all uploaded on our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash one class. So you can like, uh, subscribe, and um and click your notifications on and turn those on to uh, basically be posted on every time we post another video. Um, as always, thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, and have a great day. Take care.